I'm Mikhail. I started hot, and I'm going to take the liberty of breaking with what I'm going to talk about for one minute.、Um, our office in D.C. we have a great perch right around the corner from the White House. So when I saw on Twitter、uh, that Greta was marching nearby, I ran down to take a picture, and I love that she gives me this look that just says, "Stop taking my picture and go do something right now."、Um, so please figure out what we are going to do. Um, as part of Hot and OpenStreetMap,、um, if you look at SnapMap today, it's pretty incredible view of seeing. Well, this was a few months ago. I'm trusting that if you look at SnapMap today, you will see、um, the whole world lit up with young people out、um, demonstrating for action on climate. Okay, so I'm going to talk about、um, data. And operational excellence and humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. What is operational excellence? This is、um, at Mapbox, our priority zero. It's not even our first priority. It's the priority before we think about anything else. It doesn't matter how great your machine learning algorithms are running or how cool features you have implemented in your maps. If your customers are having a shitty day. If your users are not getting the services that they want, then nothing else matters.、Um, and you need if you need to drop everything and to make sure that the things that you are dedicated to providing to your end users are working. So that's not that's number zero. Now, I think it's funny to talk about customers when we talk about Hot.、Um, I think it's better to talk about relationships. But who are the The people that Hot is really trying to serve.、Um, how does Hot know when today is a bad day? Is today a bad day for Hot? It feels pretty good, but does anyone know right now if like, the, the end users of what Hot does are having a good day or not with with Hot's products? And then、uh, Nate knows. <laughs> And then、um, based on that, if it is a bad day, how do you improve?、Um, I am going to posit that. OpenStreetMap is Hot's number one customer, number one relationship. If OpenStreetMap is not working, or if the data working group blocks your Mapathon or your mapping project, it does not matter how good you think you are doing for the world with your project. You're not succeeding because you're not doing well by OpenStreetMap, which is the middle name of humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. And there are a number of things that you need to know whether or not Hot is having a bad day when it comes to OpenStreetMap. And I don't know if anyone knows this. So questions like, from all the things that Hot projects have touched, whether it's projects or mapathons, anything that is done under the banner of Hot, how many subsequent edits have happened on that data? And were those edits fixing something? Was it improving something? How much work was required? And who were the people did, that did them? Were there other people in Hot? Were they validators? Were they companies? Were there other members of the OpenStreetMap community? Was it the data working group? We don't know.、Um, how many people today are teaching people about OpenStreetMap under the Hot banner? And what kind of skills do they have? What kind of training did they have in order to impart that information? And then on.、Um, All of the ma major OpenStreetMap channels and all the minor OpenStreetMap channels. How many people are groaning about Hot today, and what do you know about them, and how are you going? What are you going to do about it?、Um, I think that it actually needs someone who's responsible. Whether you call it a chief data officer or not, you need to actually have someone whose job it is to think about data and the relationship with OpenStreetMap,、um, and that's what every company that's sponsoring. Um, this conference and State of the Map, they may not have a chief data officer, but they have people who are responsible for thinking about what is that company's presence in OpenStreetMap like, and how are we addressing issues right now for OpenStreetMap? How are we doing the best by OpenStreetMap, and how are we improving it? Okay, so this is a bit about what Mapbox has done.、Um, Mapbox has done for our operational excellence when it comes to our work and relationship in OpenStreetMap. First, project planning.、Um, 
before a project is started, um, we do a lot of research and a lot of internal discussion and a lot of internal documentation. We use GitHub for both private repos and public repos. And one of the first things we do is we document, we research, and we um, debate internally about um, what's the motivation, what are data sources, what's the best methodologies, and all of this is documented internally for discussion on a, a GitHub master ticket. Um, that correlate, that parallels our external presentation of what we're doing. There are things which are proprietary about what Map Mapbox does, but most of what is documented in an internal master ticket will end up in an external ticket, which explains this is our mapping project, um, here's how we're, we're doing it, here's our workflow, here's the resources we're using, and what do you think? Even before we create that ticket, uh, people are talking to uh, members of OpenStreetMap communities where we are doing work to make sure, does this make sense? Should we be doing it this way or should we be doing it another way? So we document, we do controlled trials, we don't just rush in once we have a process and create a ton of data, do trials, make sure and iterate to get the best workflow. Then, only then we do, we like get our resources together, start, un start undertaking the project, continually review what's happening, listen very closely to what we're hearing from the community, adjust as needed, stop. If things aren't working well, we will stop um, and fix and then continue. Um, continually evaluation and then when we're done, we look back and make sure that everything that was done, uh, what worked, what didn't work so that we improve and do better next time. Uh, so here's an example of a master ticket, so just, just a bunch of, uh, you know, we'd go through very, in a lot of detail, and then this is followed by tons of comments. And then here's a, uh, a public mapping ticket, and this one's notable, it has 115 comments. So that's 115 points of discussion between folks within Mapbox and folks within OpenStreetMap Japan and others um, about what was going on here. And there was a lot of changes along the way. Second point is documentation. Um, if you build something and no one knows how to use it correctly, it really doesn't matter because no one is using it. So we spend a lot of time on making really good documentation and we have an amazing documentation team who, it's a little slow. Uh, a couple years ago, and actually they've redesigned again our help pages. And they set very intentional goals for what we are going to do with our help pages. Like, we need to reduce the amount of content because <laughs> there was too much of it. You need to delete things um, which are not serving people. Um, make it really easy to find content. Have really good search and really good linkages between uh, help pages. You need to make sure that your documentation is complete and actually represents the current state of what your products are supposed to do. Um, and yeah, make sure it's, it's discoverable and realize that um, not everyone is going to come to your documentation from the same entry point. They may Google something or they may be pointed at something deep in the documentation, but it needs to be still within an entire framework where they understand where does this piece of documentation fit within the whole spectrum of what we are doing at Mapbox. Um, and so this is like, you know, bullets on the redesign process. And without going into the details, the point is that like, really thought through very carefully and intentionally ahead of time, what are our goals and how are we going to structure the outline of the content, where are we going to need to delete content, where are we going to need to write new content, what's our visual guide and what's our style guide for what we're, we're producing, and, let's, and sticking to that. And so some of the results, I mean, this is not even a direct mapping, uh, if you go to labs.mapbox.com slash mapping, this is not even like a, one of the things that documentation did. This was done by the, by the data team. But it's still done with these principles and borrowing from them and really making things very, very um, easy to use and discoverable. Okay. So what was I going to talk about next? Ah, community and communication. Um, it is rough out there. I know that very well, <laughs> every day. Um, and uh, yet, I read and I participate because 
there's no getting around being a part of local communities and the global communities in OpenStreetMap. Um, as a company, um, if Mapbox is going to use OpenStreetMap in its products and contribute to OpenStreetMap, you need to be there as part of, of OpenStreetMap. Ah, yeah. And that means taking care of each other. So one of the key things is like, we are a team. This is uh, Janal and Zajad, who are unfortunately no longer at Mapbox, but doing amazing work in other places. Um, but I think really are two people who embodied the, the spirit of like, we are going to look, is rough out there? We need to be out there. We are going to look after each other in, in our work. And I think that's something that, um, that Hot could really learn from. So for example, have you ever received a chain set comment that made your blood boil? Yes, anyone? Yeah, and did you agonize over how you were going to respond to that? Um, if you have people who are editing an OpenStreetMap, they are going there in the OpenStreetMap community and they may receive comments um, or interactions from other people. And depending on language or experience or whatever, they may not be, feel entirely prepared to respond. So what do we do? At Mapbox, if someone commented on a change set and they don't and someone they don't feel like they have the response ready, well let's discuss it. You know, we have a team here that looks after each other. So this is an internal ticket where someone says, I got this comment, I don't quite know what they're they're talking about. Is this may and you know, there's some interaction with 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 Arun and they sort it out. And so it's not every interaction, but if something happens like if someone in hot like is having a bad day in co in in comments on chain sets or on the mailing list, um, coordinate with each other, support each other, talk to each other, and uh, and figure out how to um, how to respond. Um, relationships are key, of course, um, and we are very like in Mapbox have been very deliberate and structured in our relationships. So for Example, um, when we, there was a, a couple years ago, a turn restrictions project in Berlin based off of uh, mapillary imagery. And before we did this, of course, we talked to mappers there and said, what's the best way of us collaborating on this? If we know, if we see a mapillary image where there may need to be a turn restriction, should we just map it or what should we do? And the community said, no, please don't map it because we may have more information than you and we could actually go out to these places, uh, leave, a, leave a note, and then we'll go and investigate further. Um, and we did that because we knew people and we outreached people and we'd f talk to people in this community continually. Um, and we're like, great, we'll do that. So we left notes and then those notes were resolved extremely fast. Um, and I guarantee that if we had just gone ahead and started mapping <laughs> turn restrictions, especially ones that weren't actually there, um, we would have not had a, a, such a, a good relationship with the community in this case. Um, we've even defined, at Mapbox, we've even defined this with HOT, and we define exactly, like, aligned with um, HOT's activation protocol. Depending on, like, the activation, what is, what is Mapbox committed to doing? Um, and um, we're going to say this publicly as well so that we're, that we're held to account. And so we're really defining what our relationship is like and what you can expect from us, because it's important to us that if we say we're committed to HOT, that it actually means something and we're structured to do it. Um, and we support the community in a lot of different ways. Um, we sponsor um, this conference, a lot of other conferences, maybe Hot should sponsor conferences as well, um, and support other ways of helping other communities. Um, it's important, it's, it, it's a signal and it helps build, uh, build relationships and, um, and, show, and helps you learn what's happening in other places. And, the OpenStreetMap Foundation, listen, it's a big topic, but the important thing is, do you know the people who own the intellectual property, run the servers, are responsible for uh, cleaning up data? It's the OpenStreetMap Foundation. So if you think that's important to the work that you do, um, you need to be there and engage. It's like, um, does anyone here not vote in your local elections? Um, you need to be a part of it. Otherwise, you can't complain about it. Sorry. And it's more than just voting. It's, be, it's actually like we spend time, uh, like Heather and Yost, we're on, the, we're on the foundation board. There are people at Mapbox who are part of working groups. You need to go there and 
you may not like how things run now, but it's never going to change if you just sit on the sidelines. Uh, finally, statistics. Um, as in we, that's a little bit of like our pipeline and some of the stats we see every day from con contributor me uh, metrics, what we're doing internally. Um, basically, having good pipeline to understand what's happening right now um, is something every corporate data team has. Some of them are much better than what Mapbox has. Uh, really impressive. And um, Hot should have that same kind of capability internally to understand what it's doing and what's happening with OSM and what its impact is. Um, and maybe you should talk to these. You should talk to this guy. Maybe this, Jennings is going to be here in uh, Heidelberg, uh, working with with Martin and others for the next month. They know a little bit about like thinking about how to do stats and stuff. Maybe they can solve this problem over the next month. <laughs> All right, um, that's that's it from me. I guess we're out of time. But is there any other? This is kind of the Mapbox perspective on how we do data. Any other company folks here have any other insights from their work? or from what they've seen from what's happening in HOT? Andrew. Yeah, if you didn't catch, I think, one of the, the, the key bits of information that Apple, when they validate hot tasks, takes twice as long to, f to fix what was originally created than it would have just been to create in the f first place. So in total, you're spending three times as much time to create that data um, than, it, than, it, um, than it would have been just to create it outright um, from that same team. So is that the kind of like operational experience that hot wants to be putting into the OpenStreetMap community? I think not, but how you get there is a, is a very good question. That's it from me. Any, any I guess we can do, <clears throat> I'll, just, I'll just end by saying um, Mapbox wants to help. I think other folks who are doing data operations really want to help, and so I think the, the message I want to leave is like, think about how we can help um, and help to modernize um, the, how data in OpenStreetMap is done within HOT. My, out of time, do I have time for, okay, any, any other comments or questions? I have time for one or two. Heather. Yes, talk to us about the OpenStreetMap Foundation. Is that it? Okay, thank you.